Hey folks, how's it going? There was a house site in here. Right in here somewhere. Yeah. Telltale sign. Telltale sign. It looks a little bumpy and jumpy here and there, but there's a lot of uh, lot of territory in here to cover. So it's been a while and I <laughs> I got the metal detector, you know, jitters I need to get out here and, and detect. It's been huh, well over a month. So get out here, find some relics. Yeah, let's find some treasure today. Let's see what we find. I don't know, you know? Uh, this was on a 1910 map, so could be 1910, could be 1909. It could be 1880s. Who knows? I also brought my probe today, too. Because, hey, you just never know. If I can find that honey hole, that would be sweet. I would enjoy that. Alrighty, so, well, got the uh, MX Sport today, of course. Headphones that may or may not work. We'll see. <laughs> I still haven't got another cord yet for it, so I have to make a new one. But anyways, thanks for joining me today. It's been a while, I know. Uh, weather's getting nicer today. It's supposed to be almost 70 degrees in North Carolina that, you know, you have to get out. It's Monday, day after the Super Bowl. Everybody's out going to work. Perfect time to get in the woods and go do my thing. And not be disturbed by people. <laughs> so anyway, I'll see you out there on the first hole. Hopefully it's a good one. Yeah, we got our first button today, ringing up nice and loud. Bluebell, I think. I have lots of these. Oh no, it's a Belk. Belks with an S. Oh, was that before Belk with an S? Belks. Or has Belks always been with an S? I believe there's an S there, or is that just my imagination? Well, it's a Belk button. Nice old Belk button. Probably from the 20s or 30s, I would imagine. We'll have to research that, put a date to it. Nice. Our first button. Let's see if we can find some coins. Or bottles, too. See ya. Had to put it on relic mode. You probably can't see that. Of course, now I'm getting it all dirty. I had to put it on relic mode because this ground in here is so swamped with debris. It is just everywhere in here. And, uh, this coin and jewelry mode just keeps getting faked out and it's just driving me nuts. I keep digging iron junk and it's ringing up real nice, but uh, it doesn't do that in relic mode. Relic mode will basically show you good targets. So um, I found that button right in there amongst all the iron. There's a ton of iron right there. So, all right, moving on. There's an interesting iron object. It looks like it might have been a chain hook that was welded onto the bottom of a bolt. It's a nice early square bolt and it doesn't have threads on it but no telling interesting object for sure I could see hanging something from that pulling that hook out a little bit more yep can't tell a data or anything on it but neat is that another button maybe Oh, it feels like a piece of lead. Is this a old round ball, maybe? Let's see if we can take a better peek at it. It's falling out of my fingers. What do we get? Oh, that's a chunk of lead. It's hard to tell if that was an old round ball or not. I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty mushed. No telling. That's a bullet. It's a lead bullet. Mm-hmm. Moving on. See ya. Got a big 88 signal sitting right here. Sound non-ferrous. Let's see. I am in relic mode, so it will be picking up nice iron relics as well. So, uh, 
but it's not going to fool me out like uh, coin and jewelry mode. It's going to notice all these signals and at least be able to tell me if it's iron or not in some way. We're coin and jewelry mode. My goodness. That thing gets faked out with a nail. Yeah, I think they see it right there. Uh, I doubt that was giving me an 88 signal. Set that right there. Yeah, it's something that had a little bit of size to it, I think. Deeper yet, maybe? Let's see if we can find it. I'm getting a 14. Nice little 14 signal in here. Button maybe? Something sitting just right. Got it. That's not what I was hearing though. It's a little scrap. Where's the 88 signal? Well, that was that was it. That piece right there gave me an 88 signal. Oh, well, what do we have here? See it? What is it? It's pretty heavy. It's some, like, some kind of needle sticking out of it. Interesting. It's not lipstick, that's for sure. Interesting. Whatever that is. No telling. Maybe from the 40s? Huh. <laughs> the odd things we find. Alright, let's keep rolling. Keep rolling. Now look at that cool thing. I imagine that went to some kind of farming tool, piece of equipment, maybe like some kind of cutter or something for wheat or whatnot. Yeah, just a chunk of it. It's pretty neat. And I found it. I found a pipe. Could that be leading to the house? I would say probably yes and maybe to the well. So we have a good idea where the well might have been down that way. So I'm gonna keep that exposed for now. So I'm gonna use it as a reference so I can see and I can follow it and see where the well was. If that's a well water pipe, it probably is. It's a little small for drainage. Yeah, neat, huh? Well, I got a four inch deep uh, 70 signal that I'll share with you. See what it is. 70s are usually copper. And sure enough, I believe that's copper. Is that a coin? It looks like it was beat and had a hole put in it. Huh, very interesting. Let's clean that up and take a better peek at it. See ya. It's a wheat penny, but you know what? Look where that hole is. <laughs> There's no way to get a date off of that. Not a single way. Somebody wore that around their neck and they shaped it. That's odd that they would have put the hole right where the date is. Usually they put it up where the head is. Interesting. Our first coin, and it's an interesting coin because it was worn. That's, that was a personal item. I like that. It might have been somebody's birth date or something. But why would they knock the date out of it? That's weird. 
Nice. Moving on. See ya. Just pulled up this little tiny thing here. No telling. Oh, it looks like an old brake line piece or something like that. That's what it looks like to me. But then, I pulled this up, and I was like, hey, is that a piece of comb? <laughs> it looks like a piece of comb, doesn't it? I thought maybe it was an animal uh, tooth or jaw or something like that, but it looks like some kind of comb. Plastic. Yeah. Interesting. That's the metal object we found, though. It's heavy. Interesting. Moving on. Can you see this depression right here? This might be a privy. We'll have to probe it later. Uh, of course, there's there's so many high spots and low spots in here that uh, you know it might just be difficult. Of course, I'm going to look for the high spots, probe. Look for the low spots, probe. Because uh, you just never know <laughs> if they left the dirt built up around it or not um, or they carried the dirt away you just never know all right. well all right so I got a pretty good lay of the land I haven't hit but maybe 1% of it if that um, but I want to take the probe around and just take a closer peek at all these hills and valleys in here and see what we come up with there's an awful lot of debris in this ground. Tons of iron, tons of everything. It's it's busy spot, so I'm gonna start right up here on that little hilltop right there and just work around, work around, hit the low spots, hit the high spots. So, I'll show you what I find when I find it. Hopefully we find stuff, huh? Well, we got something. <laughs> that thing just, fell right down in. I'm not feeling anything. It might be just a sinkhole. Oh, there's some chunkiness in there. It feels awful hollow down there. Let's see if I can probe the sides of it. Oh, well, there's definite sides. Oh yeah, there's definite sides to it. Huh. Should we dig it and find out? Let's grab the shovel. Let's dig that a little bit and see what we get. Left my shovel over this way somewhere. I mean, that's a noticeable depression. But just because I'm not feeling much down there doesn't mean there isn't anything down there. You know, these probes have a habit of just skipping by everything. <laughs> Strange. All right, I'm gonna dig this out and see what we get down there. Hopefully, it's not a big empty hole. <laughs> All right. This is strange because I think I think the house sat right here in back of that big tree. I think the house sat right there, so that would be a strange spot for an outhouse. But you just never know. You gotta dig to find out. See. Well, that's the first piece of glass I've run into. Of course, that could be a, just a shard that fell off the top layer and landed down in there. And it looks like 1930s, maybe 20s type of glass. It has that nice ashy feel to it. We'll have to see. Found a nail in there too. Oh, there's something else. Could just be a berry pit, a little junk pit. Let's dig it. Oh, that's a deep hole. Hear it? Oh, it's a, it's a steel cased. That might be the well. It's uh, it's actually um, ceramic cased. That's 
that not steel at all. That's interesting. That's an old well casing. All right, well, we're gonna have to stop that up real good so the earth doesn't keep falling down in there. You never know what you're gonna find. Yup. Look how deep that is. You see down there? Yeah. Now, there's been a lot of dumping in here. A lot of dumping. All these little hills right here are all dump piles. Jars laying everywhere. Well, there's a big dump pile there. It looks like an old bed, stove, a refrigerator. Uh, probably from the 50s, maybe 40s. Let's see if we can find some bottles. There's a, looks like a bicycle. Shoe. I know some little critter made that their home, didn't they? Atlas. Oh, it's a ball. It's a nice perfect mason. Well, let's take a look down in here and see if we can't find some more bottles. Yeah, this would have been all farmland back here and that big old tree right there would have been standing in probably in the center of the the farmland naturally of course lots of vines I like to see these vines because that usually says if we're growing up out of something <laughs> I'm on the very very back side of this home site uh, looking to see if I can find any older dumps bottle dumps Yeah, it's probably going to be next to impossible finding an old outhouse in here. Huh. Well, let's grab the detector. Let's keep hunting. Usually you'll find remnants of maybe a structure like that. Let's check that spot out. See it? Nope. Not there. Interesting. So I'm standing right on the back side of where the house should have been, right there. And there's a nice little round top. I've checked all that. I don't see anything back here that would grant probing. Oh well, let's keep on metal detecting and see what we find. I don't think it's very old, but it is a tool. A nice little hammerhead. I'll keep it, shine it up, make it anew. Got a little bit of crust on it, doesn't it? Yeah, it's got some uh, oxidization, some serious oxidization. Maybe, uh, maybe 30s, maybe 40s. Yep, nice little tool. We'll keep it. Little ball top that's uh, no good. <laughs> I don't know how the ceramic is in there. Gone. Yeah, it looks like another little button. Something. I don't know. Interesting. Maybe a kid's button or something. Yeah, on a roll with the buttons at least.
like an old pot handle. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'd say that was. Pot handle. Iron. Well, not a whole lot, but it was fun getting out finally. Finally. It's been a long time. Uh, just good to swing the detector again and, you know, there's so much junk in this ground here. It's, it's, uh, it's hard to get down and at least find decent things. There's so much stuff. I mean, every, everything is just going up. And plus I have, uh, a bad wire in my headphones again. I thought I fixed them. I thought I fixed them good, but apparently one of the wires broke or whatnot. So I'm only hearing in my left ear which is annoying if you've ever had that problem. So I'll have to go back and fix that cable problem again. It's a constant fix. I know. I wish Whites would just make the cable. I'd just purchase it. It'd be easy. But no, you know, they don't. <laughs> don't know why. Anyways, yeah, not a whole lot. A couple interesting things. Um, tools always nice. And, you know, a coin that's been worn around your neck is always nice. But, uh, like I said, there's just so much stuff in the ground here. It's it's really not an ideal spot to uh, hunt for older relics. Uh, it's been occupied for a while, I can tell. And uh, there's some newer crap all over the place. <laughs> cans, cans law, and all that fun stuff. Yeah, so here's what I did pull up and keep so far. So... Not a great first springtime hunt, but it was a hunt. That's pretty neat. I'll clean that up, save it. And it looks like some kind of hinge. I don't know if those were rivets or nails. It doesn't look like a hinge. It looks like it might be um, something that just, like some kind of support or something for something. <laughs> Yeah, interesting. That hammerhead is sweet. We'll clean that up. Again, I don't think it's very old. Maybe 40s. Maybe even 50s. I'm betting more on the 40s. Uh, this. Yeah, not a clue. I'm going to have to clean that up really well and take a peek at it. No idea. And this thing was giving me an 80 signal, so... I don't know. It just looks like a chunk of iron to me, but... Then again... <laughs> Who knows? Found some pottery. Not very old. And that's the oldest piece I found right there. And still, it's not that old. Maybe 20s. Uh, a chunk of lead. A memorial penny. <laughs> we have a nice little Belka button. I think that's an S on there. Belks with an S. So we'll be able to research that and I'll give you a date. Another little button. I did find another button. I think I lost it. Is it in my bag? No. Oh, yep, there it is. Sure enough, down at the bottom. Yeah, here it is. No telling. It looks like it just has like plastic or something in the middle of it. Maybe that's old leather. I don't know. Three buttons. That might be underwear button. It's very small. Looks like it's pewter. Yeah. And that penny that I won't be able to get a date off of. <laughs> what a strange place to put a hole. <laughs> strange. All right, I'm out of here. That was fun. Got outside, fresh air, digging in the dirt. They say when you dig in the dirt, there's there's some kind of, I don't know, microbes or something in the dirt that makes you happy. Go figure. <laughs> Us people who like to go out and dig in the dirt, we seem to always be happy. <laughs> go dig in the dirt. See ya. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next time.